the heart feels sort of fluttery and you lose energy, you, have, you feel very tired, don't feel like you can do anything. Charles Pyron describes the symptoms of atrial fibrillation, an abnormal heart rhythm. His symptoms got so severe, he ended up in the emergency room. For several years, doctors tried different medications, but Pyron only got worse. You know, you begin to wonder, well, is this going to end? And uh, so it was definitely time for surgery. Pyron did his own research on the internet, which led him to UAB Hospital and a procedure called atrial fibrillation ablation. Here at UAB, physicians perform 400 ablations every year. Pyron was sent to Dr. Vance Plum. I, I wouldn't have considered having it uh, with someone who didn't have the experience that Dr. Plum had. Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart rhythm problem. Your chances of developing it increase with age. Most people have symptoms of heart racing, irregular pulse, and with it they often have shortness of breath, dizziness, chest pain. Dr. Plum says the best candidates for this procedure are patients like Charles Pyron who are not helped with medication. The goal of the procedure is pinpointing the area of the heart that is sending out erratic electrical impulses and shut it down. The procedure is a form of heart catheterization where wires are threaded into the heart through a vein in the leg. They record and map out the electrical activity, finding those abnormal signals. Then an ablation catheter is used to send electrical currents to destroy that tissue on the wall of the heart. Overall, we can estimate a success rate or predict for patients a success rate in the 75 to 80 percent range for a cure of their heart rhythm problem. For Charles Pyron, now 73 years old, one treatment did the trick. He was immediately better. I don't have to worry about coming down with one of these uh, incidents, and uh, I, I do anything I want to. I walk up steep hills for exercise a couple of miles several times a week normally. Uh, I just had no heart problems at all. So these. Uh Procedures require a great deal of commitment in terms of training, time, staff, equipment, and with a lot of medical procedures, it's pretty well known that places of high volume end up having the best results.